Okay, guys, let's continue with the other part of the question. So we have another part saying here, it's a calculation number. The question is saying that a turnbuckle with a right and left hand threads is used to couple two Larry coaches and uh, the, the threads with which a square have a pitch of 10 millimeter and a, a mean diameter of 30 millimeters and are of single start type. Taking the coefficient of friction as 0 0.1, find the work to be done in drawing the coaches together a distance of 200 millimeters again is a steady load of 20 kilonewtons. So let's try to generate the relevant information in this question and you see how we can go over it. The turnbuckle with the right and left hand threads is used to couple two Lewy coaches. The threads which are square have a pitch of 10 millimeters and a mean diameter of 30 millimeters. You have a diameter of 30 millimeters and are of single type type. Taking the coefficient of friction mu as 0 0.1 there we are required to find the work to be done work to be done in drawing the coaches together at distance a distance of 200 millimeters and again it's a steady load of weight weight 20 kilo newtons okay this is what is given in the question and we are required to find the work to be done in driving the coaches together a distance of 200 millimeters again it's the steady load of 220 kilonewtons i like first now now in order to calculate the work done in drawing the wagons we shall use this expression work done equals to t times 2 pi n this is the expression that we need to calculate uh, we need to to use uh, while finding the work done while drawing the wagons and whereby T is the torque required uh, to overcome the friction between the screw and then this T is the torque required is torque torque required to overcome the screw uh, between the screw and the nut and N, uh, N uh, this N the number of turns so meaning that if you get the turn T and we get the number of turns we are able to calculate the work done in during the, the wagons the wagons let's work out right away we know that we know that turn alpha it's given by p over pi d and uh, we are given in our information that p which is the pitch is 10 over pi times d which is uh, the diameter which is the 30 which is 30 right uh, giving us 0 0.106 so the effort required to at the circumference of the screw effort required at the circumference of the screw so the effort required is comes at the circumference of the screw is given by p because w tan tan phi plus tan alpha over one minus tan phi tan alpha i think we can see the other, the other part that we have been generating how it's helping us in this other, in this other calculation so we're trying to look at the p so as to get the torque and uh, we have our weight we have our weight here uh, they give us the weight as as 20 20 kilonewtons that's 10 20 times 10 uh, exponential 3 into trying to substitute tan phi re recall that tan phi equals mu equals to the coefficient of friction let me hope we all we call we all recall that and we have our mu as 0 0.1 meaning that tan phi equals 0 0.1 plus tan alpha we have calculated tan alpha as 0 0.106 over 1 minus 0 0.1 times 0 0.106 hope that is clear our p will equal to when we calculate we shall get 4164.14 newtons you can try to place your calculators and you tell me will have so this is the effort that is required to uh, that is required at the circumference of the screw and uh, so first to get the torque let's get the torque required the torque required to overcome the friction between the screw and the nut so torque equals to P times D over two. I believe if we followed our first, uh, our our first part, 
uh, we, we derived this expression and we, sh we showed as uh, we showed you where we get this kind of expression whereby the torque is given by the effort times the mean diameter over two. So already we have our our effort as four uh, four one six four point one four times d and d is uh, the diameter mean diameter which is thirty over two and what do we get here we get six two let me try to calculate to place my calculator it's six two four six two point one newton newton millimeter and uh, if i put it in newton meters uh, we shall get six two divided by a thousand um six two sixty two four six four six two newton meters that's the torque recall for us to get the work we have to get the torque times two pi two pi and the number of newtons so we are we are we are done with the talk so we need just need to we just need the number of turns so now for one to uh, for one to complete a revolution of a screwed rod the wagons are drawn together through a distance they're drawn together through a distance of two pitch meaning that this will be two times p which is 10 giving us 20 millimeters since uh, the pitch is in millimeters so in order to draw the wagons together through a distance of 200 through a distance of 200 through a distance of 200 millimeters the number of turns required the number of turns required n uh, is given by 200 over 20 and this gives us 10 and this gives us 10 right because this is mi over millimeters over millimeters so number of turns equals 10 so with the number of turns being calculated and the torque being calculated we are good to calculate the work done work done equals to torque times 2 pi n and the torque was 62.462 times 2 pi times n which is 10 and this gives us 3924.6 newton meter work done as required okay guys that is it all and that's how we could really go over this question and in summary when uh, we are required to capture the work done uh, in drawing the wagons of uh, tan a uh, tan buckle all we need to use we need to use this uh, we need just to use this expression work done being given by torque times 2 pi newtons a uh, tons and this is when we capture the tan uh, the torque and the number and the number of turns then we are able to calculate the work done that is it all thank you for watching Don't forget to comment and like this video yes first learn creating a path of knowledge